What's up guys, today I want to do another quick tutorial. It's kind of related to the last one and it's about splitting the description, but this time on the collection page. So as you can see here, we've got a top description and we've got the rest of the description at the bottom. And you can't do this by default in Dawn theme. All you have in Dawn theme is really this collection banner section and it gives you this checkbox like show collection description or not. Right? And you can't really do anything with it and you can't move it around either because it's not actually, well, you can move this section around obviously, but um, you may not want the entire banner together with the image and everything to be in like a different place, especially the title. You want that to be at the top of the page, right? And yeah, many people have asked how they can actually split their description. So I imagine that why you might want to do this is because you have a, a description at the top that you actually want people to read. And then you may also have a longer description that you want Google to read, right, that you're doing for SEO, you want more text on the page, maybe, or maybe it's just extra information for customers, but it's just not as important as the part at the top, right. So you want to split it into two parts like that. And the way that I'm doing this is by using the custom liquid section. Okay. And by also using the split filter in uh, liquid. Okay, I'm going to show you how this works. So let's get rid of my code for now. And I'm going to show you from scratch what I did. So here is what I have inside my actual description. There's a top description and a bottom description. There's nothing special about this. I've just entered this text, right? And I haven't made any code changes yet. The next thing I did is I went to add a section. And if you're on Dawn, by the way, also any of the free Shopify 2.0 themes, they're all based on the same code as Dawn. So this tutorial works for all of those themes. So any of those themes have this custom liquid section, you're going to add that section, and then you can add whatever you want inside it. We're going to open these double curly braces, and then we're simply going to write collection dot description. That's all you need to actually output the entire collection description for the collection that you are currently on. Okay, so that's ugly, right? It's right up to the edges of the page. So we want to wrap it in some kind of container. Uh, for us, it will be enough to simply do this, we're going to add a div around it. Um, and div if you're not familiar with HTML, that's an ending tag. And that's an opening tag. Uh, we have the class in here because the class is going to add some styling. Uh, that already exists within our theme. Within Dawn theme, there is always, uh, well, not always, but in many sections on the home page, for example, um, you will see a div or a container with the class of page width. Okay, right. So we can see page width actually right here. And if we remove that, it's going to go up to the edge of the page. So page width is this class with CSS styling attached to it. Um, that basically makes the page narrow or contains all of the content. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add this page width class to our div. And now it looks a lot nicer. Uh, there's also a modifier class called page width narrow. And that's if you want it to be even narrower like this, you can use that if you want, uh, just as an additional class. So after a space, you add that second class. Otherwise, just leave it like that. And that should almost be enough. Um, RT is another class that you can add that adds some formatting. Usually you can't really see it here, but it's just something nice to add. So we have the entire description. Let, let's get back to the point here, uh, splitting the description, we have the entire description right now. And I'm going to go and write this split. And then so like we have this pipe, right? That's on the backslash key on your keyboard. That's a pipe, and then a space and then you write split like this. And then you write what you want to split on. Okay, we're going to add something um, into this description here, we're going to add something that we want to split on. So let's do this, we're going to switch to HTML view. And it's going to be like this, you need to find the place that you want to split on. Okay, so the top and bottom part of your description. So here, this is the end of this top paragraph, 
right? And then this is the heading three, the heading of my bottom description. So I'm going to press enter here. And here, I want to add um, the the text that we're going to split on, I'm going to use a HTML comment comments in HTML, if you're not familiar with them, it's like a comment for another developer, right? So you let them know that you did something for whatever reason. And uh, comments are not read by the computer, they're just like in there, but they don't affect the code at all, which is why they're perfect for things like this. So I'm going to write the word split, it can be any word you want. But I write split because when I see that, I always know, oh, okay, I got some code somewhere else, that's like splitting this into two parts. Okay. So you would save that and then copy that split tag, paste it here. And now our description is going to be split at that point. Okay, at this point, it's going to be split into two parts. And now this is going to output two things. Okay. And so we can use another filter pipe again. So you just chain it onto the end. Um, and there are two filters that one is called first and the other is called last. Okay, and that basically gets us the first part or the last part. And why is this not working? It's not working because I actually have a space in here. There's no space in the actual um, description around the split. So now that I fixed the space, you saw it, it started working. So again, collection description splitting on that split tag, and then getting the first part, which is the top description. Here, we actually want the last part. So I'm going to write last. And that gets us the bottom description. Now the problem is that the top description right now is still outputting both uh, parts of the description, right? So what can we do here? Well, we can use another custom liquid section, right? And we can do almost the same thing. Except we output the first. So instead of the last, we output the first part of that split description. That would get us the top. And then we'll move it to the top here. And we would hide the actual collection banner. So there we have a top description and a bottom description. However, the collection banner, as you can see, also contains our actual heading, and we probably don't want to hide that. Um, so we do want to use the collection banner with the collection description. Um, so what we're going to need to do is edit the code that this outputs to do that, you're going to click on these three dots here and go edit code to open up the code editor in another tab. You're going to look for a file called main collection banner dot liquid. So just search for it and you'll find it. Um, main collection banner dot liquid. And inside of that, you can simply search for description. And yeah, it's pretty easy to find it's on line 20 line 21. Actually, this is the actual description. And as you can see, it's outputting the entire description. So here we can do almost the same thing. Um, we're going to split that description on that HTML split tag. And then we're going to output the first part of that split description. Let's hit save. And let's take a look at what we've actually done. Let me just go back to this collection. And there we go, we have the first part at the top. And we have the second part at the bottom. The only downside I really see to this is that now that we've hard coded it in here, in our actual theme code, the problem is that it's going to be like this for all collections. So just in case you wanted to do this only for some collections, but not others, you're no longer going to be able to control that using templates in case you're using templates. Okay. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about with templates, check out my video on templates in Shopify 2.0. But basically templates allow you to set up different sections for different collections or for different products. This what we've done here kind of breaks that. And now what you're going to have to do if you want this only on some collections is you're going to have to add an if statement uh, around this. And it's going to be something like, if template is equal to, you know, collection dot alternate or like collection dot clothing or whatever your um, 
whatever your specific collection is, or actually not if, if it's the template, but if the collection dot title is uh, clothing or something like that, right? So not gonna go into that in this tutorial because I just wanted to show you what splitting the description is like. And I think that this is suitable for most people. The really proper and good way to do it would be to add an actual custom section would be to register and create a new section type um, for the collection description. And then we could totally like drag that around and add various kind of design settings for it. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial like that. Um, or if this tutorial has basically satisfied your your requirements, right? Um, yeah, that's all for today. I hope everything made sense. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time.